I was born in Athlone on the River Shannon. Lily was my mother, John was my father's name. They were in livestock farming and tillage and all that. They had their own small farm of 40 acres, cattle and sheep mostly. Done some potatoes and turnips and parsnips. The farm was at Killinure near Glasson. They called it the Village of the Roses because it was well looked after. I wanted to do a lot of statues. 96, I think I made my first statue. I was and wasn't pleased in a way because I had to go over it three or four times before I got it right. I kept continuing statues after that. When I was making the statues, I had a picture to drive me, a photograph of the person I was doing. Sometimes I would start statues in February or maybe March in the good weather. Go out and make more, you know. That continued on and on until nearly I had a hundred statues. I choose the subjects for the statues because they'd done something for the country. They were brilliant in their ways. Oliver Cromwell wasn't a good one. He was a bad one. He was a bad guy. He didn't do this country any good either, did he? No siree. My favourite, Louis XIV. Did a pretty good job on him. He was a man that built Versailles, didn't he? Enormous place. And the fish boy. By looking at the fish in the canal, I thought, must have him there. Mary Gibson is the last. She died a young girl. She died very young, that girl. John Gibson, her father, he was an architect. Famous bloke, used to make headstones. During the cold weather, I would do inside work. Basically, all done during the winter when I couldn't make statues. There was no television in those days much. I wasn't interested. I had enough to get on with.
I made Hampton Court Palace with a hammer and a chisel and a saw. That's all the tools I had. Looks nice inside. Turned out all right. St. Paul's Cathedral was difficult to make too. I did the crypt and even did the tombs. Lord Nelson and Christopher Wren. I also did Windsor Castle. I managed to do the tower anyway, but it's so big it would take up my whole room. It even looks better than the real one. Buckingham Palace gave me the idea when I'd went to the trooping of the colour. I decided to make a model of it. I'd done the inside of it as well. Made the old-fashioned beds and put up the pictures. Not bad for a beginner, I suppose. Worked into the night. I worked for a colonel for a while. He was a retired English colonel. Colonel Harry Rice was his name. He had a young wife named Cynthia. She was quite a lot younger than he was. He died quite suddenly, actually. But then his wife died too, later on. She died with cancer, I think. She was quite young. She was like a mother to me. She was, yes. The sculpture of me, Jerry the gardener. No, it's a failure. Don't look like me. But some people say it's all right. Maybe it's the way you look when you are 90. I may have to do it again when I get around to it. They'll be astonished what they'll find in my garden in years to come. It'll be like Pompeii or something. Jerry's Pompeii!